So I've been asked to make a video on how I did the transfers for my Warhound. I use transfer paper from mrdecklepaper.com and the printer I use was the Prisma Canon IX6850 inkjet. I got mine printing highest quality onto the paper, which I use both transparent and solid white back. I gave a couple of quick coats of a acrylic varnish. The more layers of varnish you put on it, the more likely it won't want to bend. This one is the solid white back. So I can print and keep all the detail in the white. So I don't need to put white behind it. Cut them out. I make sure that it all looks correct. Then we start putting water on the kitchen roll, which I prefer to do with transfers. Kitchen roll folded up with a bit of water. Right, I prepare the part in question with just some water. Now, the backing paper on this is not like a normal transfer. You can actually just move it around quite easily or just pull it off. So we're just placing the transfer in position and once we've done that we want to get all as many as the air bubbles out if you need to wet the fingers so you don't actually damage the transfer and it will actually help bring those bubbles and liquid out from behind the transfer as you can see the transfer is quite thick so what we're going to do now is use varnish, hard coat, to not only protect the transfer, but around the edges, try to smooth it out. It might take a couple of layers, but this is how I did it. Because what we can do then after we've put one or two layers in, we can come back with some green, and then we can just blend it into the rest of the armor. This is the best thing about the white transfer paper, the solid back transfer paper, is that you can get those designs on with white. So, this time we're going to do transparent. So, when you print something on transparent photo paper, it basically means that you're not going to have all the white from the white paper. So you gotta print that with that in mind. So I painted the pauldron white. So now this art piece now will literally have that white on the pauldron as if it was the white paper. So right, I'm gonna put the transfer in to soak at the back there, and I'm going to give the pauldron a nice covering of water. The only problem with this is it's got some awkward shapes which you want to get the microsol solvent version and what i'm going to do with this is hopefully just run it around the edges and it'll just sit there for a little bit just giving that a little bit more help i'm not too worried about the mid sections it was just around like the studs and the inside shapes now this the photo paper now just checking that it's not moving but then I realize you could try and peel it off it was moving slightly so and it was actually peeling away from the backing paper so now this is not like a normal transfer it gets a little fiddly it wanted to come off all the time it wanted to move all the time but once you start sticking it down it wasn't as bad 
but you got to remember to be very gentle with it, very uh, cautious, more cautious than anything with it. So what I did was to make sure I lined it up so I had enough for the bottom parts on the pauldron there on each side and enough to cover every bit and then I started running my fingers across it to get it nice and smooth to the pauldron again if you need a bit smoother working surface you could wet down the outside try and help smooth it out and eventually it will start sitting nice and tight against the pauldron the problem is then you've got all the excess now this is where it starts getting really fiddly so I'm gonna make sure that I go right around the edge and make sure that it's literally starting to stick as much as possible so I don't accidentally cut off like a chunk so I'm just working it in now pushing the studs pushing the shapes in the middle going right around it and then I very carefully cut along that inside ridge Luckily it had a ridge on it, it was quite nice to have that bit to work with. But the I got a funny feeling the microsol was also helping soften the transfer for me to cut. So as I was going around, I was just making sure everything's flat and flush and really tucked in before making that cut. Otherwise I would have to take it off and start over again. But now just very carefully with a very sharp blade. Don't use a, use a brand new blade if you can. Just be very slow and very careful. It's best just to take a little bit at a time and try and do one long bit. Making sure everything tacks down, but also be cautious not to try and suction it off the pauldron, so to speak. At the moment, it's literally just stuck there. We want it to stay on, so then when we manage to get right round this, we're going to seal it with some more hard coat and leave it to set. Now, just be very careful now, just to go round those inner edges. Just take one tiny bit at a time. And don't forget, you don't have to go too liberal about making all the edges perfect. Because when it comes back into uh, varnishing it back over like we are now, once that's set, you can paint on the transfer and clean it up. There's a couple of places on the edges there where it might have been a bit too short here and there. Or um, I chopped a bit too much off. But I got the gold on first. Make sure just to get that out of the way. And then what I did was just wet around it with a bit of black and just shaded it in. And once it was all done, you know, that bit's pretty straightforward. Just cleaning up around the edges, you know. The checker plate in there was done exactly the same way put white down and then transparent decal paper on the back it is very quick and easy to do in comparison to what I have done but I couldn't have picked a harder bit to really do it on like it might come in useful for someone like I've already been asked to make this video and hopefully this helps I will be making a better video of this when I can it can be any printer you don't have to have Photoshop or anything you just Take a nice picture, put on the highest settings, and just where you go. So yeah, I just hope this helps someone. You know, this is just me testing, trying out new things, having a crazy idea and going with it. I couldn't find any good videos out there of anyone that's actually done something like this that I could relate to. So I just thought I'd give it a go. It's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Especially the pauldron. Well, all of it really. The whole thing, very pleased with how it came out. I know I could have picked a better model to try it on, but 
Just hope it helps someone. You know. I have fun with it. I'm definitely going to be doing it again when I want to use some custom art or something like that. Thanks for watching.